Hey everybody, Andrew here from Go Green Compost, and today I want to tell you about how I inadvertently used these sunflowers as a decoy plant to get rid of a garden pest that I wasn't even aware of. So I planted these sunflowers just as a border to like a little play area for my daughter here, and I noticed the other day that they were covered in these bugs. I posted a picture of them on the Permaculture Jacks Facebook page to see if anybody could help me ID them. A guy named Trace, so thanks Trace, he identified them as leaf-footed bugs. Now these guys are a garden pest. Uh, they're not a huge deal, not really going to destroy too much stuff in your garden, but they can get a hold of tomatoes and blueberries and they'll suck the juices out of them, so they're not something you really want around. They've accumulated on these sunflower plants they really like sunflowers quite a bit. So I lucked out because my sunflowers served as basically a decoy plant to get these guys out of the rest of my garden. Now this was just a happy accident for me. Um, I was not familiar with the idea of decoy plants, nor was I familiar with these leaf-footed bugs, but there seemed to be quite a few of them in my yard, as you can see. And the idea of a decoy plant is basically just that you plant something that attracts pests to draw them away from the rest of your garden. And it's a form of biological control for pests that doesn't involve pesticides. So I'm happy to have learned about that. And now what I'm gonna do is just get a little dish of soapy water and pluck these guys off of these sunflowers and throw them in there to drown. So sorry leaf-footed bugs, but I don't really wanna have to share too much of my garden with you and you're gonna have to take a dip in the soapy water. Thanks to Trace over at the Permaculture Jacks Facebook page for uh, identifying these for me. I'm really glad to have learned a lesson about decoy plants and one way you can remove pests. And I'm sure that this doesn't just go for leaf-footed bugs. It probably goes for other pests as well. So it's something I need to research and learn a little bit more about. Probably something I'll be using again in the future to try to deal with any garden pests that I encounter then. So thanks for watching everybody. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more videos about critters that you find in your garden, go ahead and check out this video right here, and I will catch you next time. Andrew from Go Green Compost, out.